Hey guys and welcome back to KLW Reptiles YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take you guys with me as I get ready to vend a reptile expo. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a really long time, basically ever since we've been vending expos and I believe we vended our first expo in 2017 so it's been a while that we've been vending shows but I just want to bring you guys along show you what we do to kind of prepare. If you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments section if it helped you out at all. Also, you guys can tell me what you guys do if you guys vend reptile expos, but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I do on reptile expo days is actually feed the geckos. This is some leftover Pangea watermelon that I mixed up earlier this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish feeding this off. If I need to make more, I'll come down and make some more. Today is Friday and typically I will feed the geckos on Thursday so that I know that they've had food um, before they go, but we're just gonna feed them this morning, um, Friday morning, because I didn't have time to feed them yesterday. I know some people prefer to kind of wait and hold back on feeding their geckos for a day or two before the show so that they don't poop in their delis, they don't make as much of a mess, but we don't mind cleaning up the mess. We would rather do that and have them well fed right before the show because if you guys don't know, some reptiles and mainly geckos, which is what we work with, it is very common for them to actually go off food. So I always like to make sure that they are eating right before we go so that they have their bellies nice and full. Since we have so many geckos, I like to use these water bottle caps uh, because they are perfect sized for little hatchling all the way up to juvenile um, we just fill them up more for the juveniles so i'm gonna go ahead and count out 115 little bowls because we do house all of our babies individually and that is currently how many we have All right guys, so earlier I finished feeding all of the crested geckos that were gonna be going to the expo with us. Typically when I get done feeding geckos, if we're gonna be taking any sort of insects like mealworms or superworms, that's when I will go ahead and start delaying up all of those for people to buy for feeders at the show. But today we already had the mealworms prepped and ready to go from the last show. There was no reason for me to have to do that again. The day before the show, I will also go through all of our literature to make sure that I have care guides and plenty of uh, contact information. Just keep in mind, if you guys are going to be vending an expo, try and take care guides for every species that you have. I'm a really big believer that if you're selling an animal on your table, you should have a care guide to go home with it at very minimum your contact information and you should be giving that to the customer so that if they have any questions they're able to contact you and get their questions answered. I don't know if you guys are able to tell but I am actually pretty tired right now. It is around 10 30 at night and we are getting the geckos delied up. Brandon is actually getting his dubia all delied, cleaned up and whatnot um, for the show tomorrow. We like to do that the night before. For the geckos and things, um, typically I will do that the night before, but it really depends on the amount of animals that we're taking. Right now we actually have quite a few animals that are going with us to the show, so I'm going to do that the night before just because we already have a long drive in the morning. You can actually see them right here. That is not all the geckos, I still have a few more to do, so I'm going to bring you guys along with me while I do that. Um, after I get geckos delied up for the night, that's pretty much the last thing that I have to do unless I think of something that I forgot to do and then I have to finish that up before I go to bed. We used to have to load all of our supplies the night before an expo into the truck, but now we actually have a trailer and all that stuff stays in there, it's ready to go, so we don't have to really do any loading up of things unless I purchase new items to sell at the show, things like that, um, but typically I do that during the week and get all that stuff ready. Good morning guys, it is now Saturday morning and it is time for us to go to the Reptile Expo. I'm very tired, so wish me luck, but let's get this show on the road.
All right, guys, we are here at the Expo Center. So we are gonna go ahead and start getting everything unloaded. I probably won't be filming a lot of that process just because we're running a little bit behind right now. Um, and I don't want to be setting up the table when there are people walking in the door. So we're gonna go start setting up and I will show you guys either the finished product or when we're all All right, guys, we're here at the reptile show all set up. Give you a quick overview of the table. Kind of all decked out for Halloween right now. Say hi. <laughs> Some geckos. Some ball pythons. These were from our very first clutch. Pods, some rubber duckies, some St. Lucia's. And some supplies. And then your feeders. So we have Dubia here. We're out of mediums already. Mealworms. And then we go into the PVC enclosures. <laughs> and kind of some extras that we have. 